Hey, hey, Cub fans. Thanks for joining us here on Cubs 24-7, where Randy talks Cubs. Cubs lost to the White Sox today, uh, 3-2. to Just kind of a weird game. First of all, it got called after seven innings for rain. It, it was raining. It was delayed for, I don't know, maybe 40 minutes. When they got started, cold, rainy. Uh, and everybody just sort of looked and felt out of sorts to me. Uh, plus, I had to listen to the to the White Sox announcers, and they were interviewing all the White Sox uh, front office people and, in general, just talking about stuff I didn't care about. So not a very enjoyable game for me to watch. Uh, Cubs, Cubs got uh, two runs in the uh, top of the second inning, and that was it. So let's go ahead and walk through it. It was, uh, again, a little little weird game. Uh, started Miles Mastroboni at third base leading off. Dansby was at shortstop hitting second. Dom Smith was DHing in the three hole. Uh, Cooper was in left field hitting fourth, Garrett Cooper. Matt Mervis got a start at first base uh, hitting fifth. Miguel Amaya catching hitting sixth. Alexander Canario was in center field in the seventh hole. David Bodie got a start, played second base uh, in the eighth hole, although they moved him to third base uh, in the sixth, the the uh, bottom half of the sixth inning. And Brendan Davis uh, is back from his uh, concussion protocol, so that's good. Brendan, Brendan started in right field hitting ninth. So the scoring went like this. Cubs got two runs, a, a second inning, Canario doubles. Hits a hard line drive down the left field line, gets to the corner, and he uh, pulls up for an easy double. Then he takes third on a wild pitch. Then Brennan comes in, and Brennan hits a, a double down the left field line. Uh, hit it. Hit it. It, it scooted. The, the ground was wet. He hit it hard, and uh, Yohan Mikado, the shortstop for the White Sox, or the third baseman for the White Sox, uh, I'm not going to say he misplayed it, but it looked like it should have taken a hop, and he didn't get down on it, and it just sort of scooted through. So Davis hit it hard, but kind of a weird double, but it was an RBI uh, double. And then Miles Mastroboni came up and uh, hit one uh, to the opposite field gap, uh, left center field gap, took one hop, jumped the fence for a ground rule RBI double. So – that was the scoring. That's uh, that's all we we don't, really didn't threaten from that point on. Uh, so we're up two nothing in the second, and that was it. Miles Masterboni ends up going one for three. That RBI ground rule double was all he had. Dansby had a uh, single ground ball in the hole uh, to shortstop. He went one for two. Uh, Dom Smith went one for three. He had a. It, I'm not going to call it a hard hit base hit. But he did get the barrel on a little bit, sort of a sinking line drive to to right field for Dom's only hit. Um, Garrett Cooper went 0 for 2 uh, with a walk. Matt Mervis uh, had a rough day, 0 for 4 with a strikeout and three flyouts. Miguel Amaya went 1 for 3. M Miguel hit the ball hard, though. He flew out to center in, the, with the, in his first at bat. Second at bat, he lines a, a really good shot that was caught by the left fielder. In fact, Ben Intendi had to make a diving catch on it. So that, that could have easily been a good hit, and he hit it hard. And then uh, in the sixth, he singles and hit it hard. So Amaya's one for three really didn't, to me, uh, not a clear indication of how he looked. He hit the ball really well today. Canario went one for two with a walk, had that double, scored. And Bodie went 0 for three. Um, the, he flew out to right field, he flew out to center, and then in the sixth, he hits into a double play, but he hit it hard, um, you know, barreled it up and just hit it right at, uh, the shortstop and they turned, uh, turned a double play on him. So he didn't get a hit, but he did hit uh, a ball really on the nose. Brendan Davis ends up at one and three the RBI double that he had was his only hit. He walked in the fourth. And it's it's kind of it's kind of frustrating, but he so he walks in the fourth, then he gets picked off first, and he gets picked off. So he's trying to make it to second base. They get him in the rundown, and they're chasing him back to first. So he dives, and 
the White Sox infielder uh, sort of dove on him, and it looked like he landed on his shoulder. So I'm, he he stayed in the game, but he got up. He he was you know just not comfortable, and I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. First came back, and guy jumps on his shoulder. So we'll see. I don't. It, nothing happened today, but I'll just be curious over the next day or two if we hear something about Brendan Davis's health. Um, they made some changes. Strumpf came in. He got one at bat. He grounded out 6-3. Uh, 23-year-old shortstop Fabian Pertus came in, and he got a uh, he got a ringing base hit. He had, he had a line drive to left field. Then he struck out. He went one for two. But Fabian Pertus, 23-year-old, uh, looks really good at the plate. I liked him. Uh, Joe Hudson came in, looked, looked awful, and is only at bat. He struck out and wasn't close. Um, Parker Chavers came in and walked. I don't know that much about Parker, but, uh, he came in and got a, a, a walk in, uh, hitting for Cooper. Uh, Wyndham came in and got in at bat and walked. Uh, Jefferson Encarnacion came in. He's playing left field and, uh, he goes 0 for 1 with just a, just a, a little topper that the catcher came out fielded and threw him out. So that's everybody. That like I said, that's it, it was just kind of a weird game. I'm, it's it's kind of weird just me talking about it because there just wasn't really a lot there. Nobody really felt into it. Crowd wasn't into it. They were all you know it was like 50 degrees in Arizona. They they were all freaking out like it was uh, you know 30 degrees out. So just kind of a weird weird game. Uh, so the Cubs seven hits, uh, five walks, five strikeouts, eight guys left on base, only two for seven. Runners in scoring position, and uh, just get the two runs in the second. Let's go with the pitchers. Uh, Jordan Wicks uh, pitched today. He goes five full, throws 69 pitches, and Jordan wasn't on today. And in the first inning, I'm going to say he was nibbling, but he was just not quite, not quite getting it. And so he was, he was maybe he was getting squeezed a touch. I'm not saying he was, but. You could argue it. Probably somebody would argue that he was getting squeezed a little bit in that first inning. Uh, but he was missing. He was missing up and out, and he was missing down. and uh, Not by a lot, but a little bit. And then I think what happened is he might have gotten frustrated and then started getting a little bit too much of the plate. I think maybe he overreacted, and then it sort of tail spun on him from there. It's just, just my thoughts. But he ends up going five full, gives up four hits, uh, three runs, only struck out two, walked one. And gave up a home run, but but he battled. I mean, like I said, it was just you know, 69 pitches. He hung in there, and um, you know, I'm not mad at him for it. Uh, I just think it could have gone sort of either way. He just he just wasn't pinpoint, and then I don't think he handled it too well. But you know, spring training, he'll learn from that. Sixth inning, Mark Leiter comes in, um, strikes out a guy, but Mark made a really nice play on a bunt. Uh, with two outs, guy tries to lay down a bunt. Mark went over really close to the third base line, made a, sli- a sliding, um, you know, play to pick the ball up, made a nice throw. It really kind of shocked me because I don't think of Mark Leiter Jr. as being all that athletic, but that was a really nice play. Uh, which reminds me, we had another one of those scenarios where uh, Matt Mervis and Jordan Wicks don't seem to be able to cover first base. Um, kind of a big hop. Um, Jordan takes off. Mervis is coming at the ball. Well, Jordan catches it with his momentum going to first base. Mervis is already completely uh, out of position. And, of course, now at this point, the runner's pretty fast, and Jordan can't get over to make the play. And I'm like, it just kind of seems like every time Wicks and Mervis are, are teamed up, there's a just a, a little bit of a mishap over there Uh, you know i I don't know wicks just doesn't seem to be all that good a fielder um mervis seems like he's you know maybe out of position some i don't know i just know what i saw and i went you know kind of reminds me what i saw the last time too colton brewer came in pitched the seventh inning looked great got a strikeout no problems in and out and then uh, the game was called after that rain started to pick up so they just called it so Sox win three to two. So I mean that's what it is. Um, I'm not sure we learned much today. Yeah, maybe we maybe Wicks did a little bit, getting squeezed and then kind of overreacting and 
and uh, leaving the ball in. Because the, the home run, it was middle in. He just missed the spot, laid it in there. So, you know, big picture, I guess it is what it is. But um, Cubs are now 12-8 and eight on the spring. We've got Kansas City tomorrow, and Drew Smiley's going to make, make a start. He's scheduled to, to uh, start tomorrow. So we'll regroup. Uh, see what uh, the Royals have for us tomorrow. See what Smiley does. See what the lineup is. Um, oh, I, w- I was going to tell you, Bodie uh, played second base, and he made two really good plays. In the uh, second and third inning, run around first, uh, really hard hit ball hit to his left and with less than two outs because he dove, made the play, and – turned and went to second and got the force out both times just a couple of really good plays at second base for Bodie today so Bodie 0 for 3 but played well he looks really good in the infield to me every position I've seen him play uh this spring all three of them he makes he seems to make all the plays and today he made two really good plays at second base so I almost forgot to tell you about that don't want to leave you hanging you guys need to know stuff you need to know So, okay, Kansas City tomorrow. Drew Smiley, we'll see what happens. Guys, thanks for checking me out here on Cubs 24-7, where Randy talks Cubs. Hope you're enjoying it, and we'll see you after the KC game tomorrow night. Go Cubs, go.